How's it going, guys? Disney news. Disney news. The mouse is on fire. Bob Iger is back. You know, the guy that brought you Miss Marvel and the guy that oversaw the Disney trilogy of Star Wars. He's back. Uh, I was kind of shocked to hear this. I figured they were, I thought, I thought they were praising Bob Chapek, especially for his fight with DeSantis. Kind of didn't see this coming. I knew Disney had to make a change. I'm shocked they actually did anything. Uh, evidently this stuff leaked out during, well, it wasn't leaked out. Yeah. That the Elton John show, the, the farewell for Elton John. And the email landed in the inboxes of 190,000 employees worldwide during this. So it took it as a shock. Everybody freaked out. Uh, we know Disney was losing money. They're having a hard time with, uh, with getting people in the parks. Not a shocker. Now, Bob Iger, why is he doing this? Because he can make up to $25 million a year. Now, supposedly he's only coming back for two years and they're supposed to be training the person that's going to replace him. Please be Kathleen Kennedy. Please be Kathleen Kennedy. Uh, he, oh, he can earn up to $27 million. So that's going on. But here's what I want to talk about. So this is another article from National Review. Disney fires CEO Bob Chapek after a woke war with DeSantis. So we go down here. During Chapek's tenure, the company came embroiled in a fight with Florida Governor Ron DeSantis as it chose to advocate against the state's parental rights education bill, which prohibits teaching gender ideology and sexual orientation in kindergarten through third grade, third grade classrooms. It's not the bill you heard it was. That's actually what the bill is. Disney became an outspoken critic of the measure going to so far to say as a goal as a company is having the bill repealed by the legislature or struck down from the courts. So you want to play politics. Okay. In return, Florida stripped Disney of its independent special district status with the Santa's warning that if the company chose to use its economic might to attack the parents of my state, he will treat it as a provocation and a fight and fight back. That's exactly what he did. Uh, it probably doesn't help that DeSantis won by 20 points. That probably was another slap in their face because they're no, they dumped all this money into Florida to try uh, into Chris to try to beat DeSantis and it didn't work. So JPEG vowed to assemble a content task force to become a force for good for the LGBTQ movement. I don't care what you do or what you are, but when it comes to little kids, leave them alone. Uh, here's the kicker. Here's the kicker. In April, a poll found more than 68% of the general election voters said they were less likely to do business with Disney after reports that it plans to include sexual ideology and new content for children. Like I said, leave the kids alone. You'll make people mad. Our leadership over there has been so welcoming to my, like, not at all secret gay agenda, said LaToya Ravenel, an executive producer for Disney television in a, in a video obtained by a journalist, Christopher Rufo. It was just wherever I could, I just basically adding queerness. No one would stop me and no one was trying to stop me. This is the kind of stuff that gets you kicked out. I hope she loses her job too. Leave the kids alone. This is what's been wrong with Disney. They want to push this political agenda instead of making good content. All we want is good content, man. I don't want your shit shoved down my throat. Uh, and don't worry about a good old Bob Chapek. Bob Chapek's doing good. He's going to leave with at least $23 million. They have to pay his contract out until mid-2025. So he can get $6.5 million off just that, plus he has a $16.9 million uh, pension. Plus, he has a trove of Disney stock options. Uh, if the shares come back up, he can make money. But it is what it is. Um, the, the issue with Scarlett Johansson didn't help him either. 
but here's my point. What's what's so big about bringing Iger back? Like I said, Iger uh, assisted in the death of Star Wars. Why should I care about him? Why should I care that he's running the company? If you really want to do something, you really want to shake it up, fire Kathleen Kennedy. You just fired Bob Chapek. He's worked for Disney for like 20 years. You really want to wake people up and make somebody, you know, look? Fire Kathleen Kennedy. Do it. There's supposedly there's rumors out there uh, where he's telling her to stop with the political stuff. Doubt it. He praised her to the board members. He renewed her contract when he was in charge. Um, they seemed like they got along very well. I mean, he had nothing but praise for her during the trilogy. That was... Uh. So what are they to gain from this? Well, they got like a 9% stock raise before opening. I think total it was 6% after close. Um, they got their stock prices up. That's what they care about. That's what Bob Iger cares about stock prices, not making good content. Um, they don't care if they have to push woke ideology. And I can tell you what it is, because I've done some research on advertising. You have all this false information data that is saying, if you promote this, you're going to make more money. If you promote a political agenda and a deodorant commercial, I'm not buying your deodorant. I will change my brand just because you did that because there's no reason for politics to be in a deodorant commercial. It keeps you from stinking. Same thing with uh, entertainment. This is my escapism. If I want to watch the news, I will just click on the news and watch the news. I'm tired of this stuff. Really aggravates me. I really don't like Bob Iger. Uh, he had political ideals that he wanted to go do. I guess those didn't pan out for him or he's got too many ghosts in his closet or he didn't grease the right elbows. It is what it is. <clears throat> I don't think this is going to work out for him. And I think they're just going to put out some more content. That's going to suck. I mean, Andor is supposed to be the best star Wars ever made, but they have to put it free on television because no one wants to watch it. Everybody's checked out. And unless he does something dramatic, we're just going to take it as the same thing every day. Bob Chapek, Needs to start firing up the chopping block, man. Look at what this uh, the CEO for was it uh, DC? The company that owns DC is at Universal. Uh, I mean, they're just chopping stuff left and right. I mean, he's getting attention. People are starting to pay attention to DC, the DC universe. What's coming out? Um, no one cares about what they're doing. No one cares. Disney's doing Disney. The same thing. They haven't, they haven't broke ground. They're not, they're not trending. They're not doing anything. I see them get wrecked on Twitter because they're putting ads on Twitter. So they're getting wrecked by the left because they're spending money on Twitter and they're getting wrecked on the right for all the stuff with the kids. Disney is not in a good place right now. And Bob Iger is not going to fix it unless he starts changing it, but he's got to come in there swinging buddy. Uh, I mean, if I got up tomorrow and find out that Kathleen Kennedy was gone from star Wars, I might actually pay attention. But it's not going to happen. They can't fire her. You can't fire a woman. And they need to gut Lucasfilm. There's there's so much disease in Lucasfilm right now. I think that uh, I think we're just going to continue to watch the mouse slow burn uh, until it's ashes. Um, I'm waiting for them to start selling properties off. When they start selling properties off, then you know what's going on. Uh, I live an hour from Disney here in Florida. Everybody I worked with had season passes. They'd take their campers, stay there for a week. No one goes anymore. No one has a season pass. Uh, I drove up I-4 the other day. There was no slowdown to Disney exits like there usually is. Disney's on its way out. You can, I, I don't know anyone here that wants to go to Disney. No one. And if you w go on Twitter, if you're lucky enough to get the, the Florida resident ads, they're all about family and this and that, where the other ads are not. So they're hurting. Used to be Florida resident, you got a discount. Now you're getting special commercials too. So at the end of the day, I don't think this is going to do anything. I think it's just going to disappear. Uh, but Iger needs to start chopping. Needs to start chopping. Get through it, man. If you want to make a change, you want to start put, put, having people having optimism behind your company, uh, that's where you need to go. But just this right here doesn't do anything for me. It kind of aggravates me. 
because I don't like Iger at all. It is what it is. But thanks for watching. Have a good one.